start this by saying, hey, I'm in Boston, but I'm not. Boston is that teeny tiny thing back there, which I don't even know if you can see it anymore, because I, I don't even know. But I assure you, it is there somewhere. Right now I'm on a boat again. But this is exciting because this is a whale watching boat. So we're gonna go out into the middle of, I assume probably nowhere, in the middle of the sea, and hopefully spot some whales. That's the hope. I don't know how confident I feel about that, but I'm trying to be optimistic. It's a beautiful day, because yesterday was a super rainy and disgusting day. It's a beautiful day, so chilled and relaxing to be on the boat, because obviously I've been running around like a crazy person for the last three days in New York. And it's nice to just sit down and like not be people everywhere all up in my face. If I see any whales, I will definitely try and catch them on camera for you. Fingers crossed. like go traveling and like we would be friends 
friends and go do things together, which didn't really work out. Like most of the people I worked with lived in Maine anyway. So I didn't know that I wanted to be on my own for a full month traveling around, especially because I can't drive on the wrong side of the road. Like I just can't get on board with it because when you turn left, that always freaks me out. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to rent a car because I will crash and die. So I opted against that. And then when you think about it, like you have to drive places in America because everything is so big. So that is why I'm going home early, which is very, very sad and unfortunate, but probably good because I have blown through a lot of cash in the last week. But right now I feel like this is going to be like a great way to end my trip, like something I've wanted to do since forever. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, please, please, I'm hoping that I will be able to get gifts at the gift shop in Salem because I have been in America for two months and I haven't bought anyone a single gift and I know for a fact my niece is going to be expecting something pretty amazing. So I'm really hoping I can find something cool at the gift shop. If not, I'm going to have to buy her a stuffed George Washington like teddy that I saw in Boston and I'm not sure how much she's going to appreciate that. And also, do I want to spend $24 on a stuffed George Washington? Not really. I I don't feel inclined to do that, but if all else fails, I feel like that's what their gift is going to be. Yeah, we're almost there. I feel like I can see it. I can see land. Land ahoy. So, dreams are coming true here, people. Dreams are coming true. Like that, but I don't want to go home. 